a more common way of uh, generating GUIDs than the uh, C-sharp method <coughs> I showed in the previous COM video is a utility called GUID, GUID, GUID Gen and uh, it comes with the Microsoft SDK uh, software development kit and in order to use it of course the first thing you need is to know it exists so I've I've given you that trick and the next thing you need to know is where it is because if you just go into a DOS box and type good gen it probably won't work it'll probably say unknown program or utility or whatever it says so uh, a way of solving this is the uh, recursive uh, grep program we wrote a couple videos ago so you say good gen dot exe and if you search from the C sharp uh, or the C colon drive it's going to take a long time if you search from the root but I already located it and saved it as a bookmark so it can go down here to where I located it and you'll find it in nothing flat although the location will probably be different on your computer and this is probably a little hard to see so I'll get the uh, magnifying glass and the directory is c colon slash program files microsoft sdks slash windows slash v7.0 slash bin on my computer it'll probably be something different on your computer and with the grep program you can highlight that and uh, right click and do copy and probably get rid of this guy and then for instance bring up notepad and right click and do a paste and once you have this uh, directory location the place you need to put it is the system path so click on the start button and click on uh, control panel and then go to uh, admi or no system and then advanced system settings and environment variables <laughs> and then down to path and you want to click on edit for the path and if I uh, right click and copy this path go back to our notepad put a couple spaces you can see it's a huge uh, string and it gets huger all the time because every time something installs itself it quite often adds to this path like there's Google Chrome and I've already added this to uh, the string it's right here and the main trick is you have to put a semicolon in order to separate it from the other strings and if we were doing this for real we once we put this into the string with the edit we'd click OK and then OK multiple times to get out and then it'd be saved but it's already in there so we'll just hit cancel and X our way out and then to bring it up we just go into a DOS box and type uh, good Gen. and once again we'll get a selection of types of, uh, of ways of generating it these actually generate statements that you can directly put into programs but for our case we'll just put the registry format which is the braces and the separated by the brackets and the simplest thing is to click copy 
and then you can bring up uh, whatever program you want to put it into in this case just notepad and right click and, and click space and there's a totally unique 128 bit GUID number that we can use to identify interfaces or use to identify code classes for the uh, ActiveX uh, utility we're developing. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.